what is guys hi once again and i'm coming at you guys with another content of cooking your kingdom so if you guys watched my video that i posted recently about the upcoming update that is going to be featuring caramel arrow cookie who is going to be a very special cookie and she is actually a range who is also going to be in the front so she is going to technically become a i guess a um you know kind of quote-unquote tank maybe um i don't know how it's going to be but if you guys know already and i've actually explained it in the video the two of the latest uh range cookie that came out were twizzly as well as pastry so it's been a long time since we actually had another range cookie and both of them are actually rear cookies so their position is a rear all right and they're gonna be in the way back because normally archers range cookies are supposed to be in the back shooting away at the enemies however caramel arrow is a little special and she is going to be up in the front and she is going to be probably slashing away at the enemies and then with her skill she's gonna be shooting uh the enemies with her arrows but in this video what i want to talk about is going to be how you guys can prep for the upcoming update as well as so that you guys can be ready when caramel arrow cookie actually gets released and of course the number one thing is going to be of course save your crystals all right so there are a lot of events going on right now especially some of these uh, events right here the guild quest is going to be able to give you guys a good amount of crystals later on especially depending on your guild ranking of course the contribution is there as well but you know contribution one is a little bit harder and of course right here too the for the guild if you get all the way up to the uh, 200,000 which I am trying to reach uh, by the end of the event is going to be an extra 1,000 of course there's a bingo time which I am actually going to be doing at the very end as well I'm just saving up so that I can just you know just do it all at one time but yeah you make sure to do this because you get 3,000 crystals as well as um, some extra rewards as well uh, when you do clear uh, some of these extra challenges right and then, of course, you do have the uh, Dark Account Kingdom story mode, if you guys were able to finish that. As well as the uh, lighter resolution one as well. There's the uh, maximum 3,000 crystals. And, of course, you know, you just have other uh, events going on every single week. So, there is that. So, of course, you just want to be saving up your crystals. Do your Taro Sui Chaos. Do your, um, you know, Soda Island. Do your story mode and get as many crystals as possible so that you guys have a higher chance of actually pulling caramel arrow cookie when she is released uh the second thing i want to mention is going to be your skill powder so of course for majority of the players who has been playing for a while now should have a good amount of the ranged uh skill powders and for me right now i believe i should have a ton so i have 557 of the regular ones all right, and then I have 825 of the rare ones or refined one, and I have 1,400 of the pristine range powder. So it is going to be the most after uh, my bomber, okay, because bomber, I actually did use it for Alfogado. But as you guys can see, you should have a ton of these scale powders. But for those who have not saved up your range ones and you guys were not able to you know uh save up because you guys started a little later into the game or you just kind of somehow sold them i don't know what you get for selling these oh so you get gold but i highly recommend you guys do not sell any of these but if you guys did not then make sure to go and farm them as soon as possible okay you have about a week left a li little less than a week now so you of course you're gonna have today which is gonna be the sundays and it's gonna be all skill powder and then you have the Wednesday, which is going to be range. And then on Saturday, which is going to be another range. And of course, you just want to keep doing that. And if you guys do want to just farm the normal ones, then you guys could go into any world aspiration stages that has the skill powder. Uh, you know, that is going to be for range. Then you guys just go and farm that as well. Because later on, you got, you are going to be able to trade these in into the uh, the harbor. And you're, you're going to be able to get... You know the the rare one the refined one or even sometimes a pristine one as well so right here this uh 13-20 is an example of that is going to draw a range powder so you can go and farm the normal ones and then later on you can go to the uh, you know your trade harbor and then the seaside market sometimes has it so that you can upgrade your normal one to the refined one and when you do get lucky you might be able to find like this one right over here you're going to be able to find the uh, pristine powder as well all right so you're going to be able to do that sometimes in the rainbow shell gallery they do have some skill powder as well as when you do go to the arena 
and the metal shop sometimes has it as well right over here so for me right now i am able to buy them so you're able to buy that um you know skill powder as well the next thing i want to tell you guys is definitely going to be saving up your exp star jellies this is always standard stuff uh, especially for everybody who's been playing for a while um new cookies come out and of course if you attain new cookies they are level one and especially if they are going to be meta or you know just changing the whole meta system inside of the arena or even the world exploration you want to be able to use them as soon as possible and that is going to be by leveling them up using your exp star jelly so of course the main thing is going to be upgrading your cookie houses to get your exp star jellies you're gonna get some extra uh, you know daily stuff from the uh, fountain of abundance if you were able to unlock the soda island then you're going to be able to get your you know eight hours of just daily you know uh rewards that the villages give you and then you're going to be able to get some from your um tower of sweet chaos so th those are able to you know get some uh first time reward as well as repeated rewards and of course you're just gonna be able to buy some stuff from the soda uh or the trade harbor as well as the arena shop if you want to invest in that which i do not really recommend uh but you know those are options as well and of course it, when you guys are farming for uh any toppings as well as skill powders in this case you are going to be getting a small amount of exp star jellies as well the next thing i want to tell you guys is um you know try to farm some toppings as well all right of course toppings are going to be hard to farm uh, especially your topping pieces and a gold is going to be one of the you know I, I feel like for me gold is the hardest part of actually topping you know farming as well as uh topping upgrading uh because i do have a ton of topping pieces just not enough gold at majority of the time so right now i would say trying to save up some toppings especially i feel like she is going to be using uh you know swift chocolate a lot so you might be able to farm some of those in uh in majority of the cases and of course if you guys watch some of my topping videos and you guys are able to see where you guys can specifically farm these and or if you do not want to uh, watch that video then you can just see right here just go to any stages and see what is a possible drop of you know certain toppings and for swift chocolate it's going to be only one um you know so you can just go to any world stages and just find out which one is going to have the epic or the medium swift chocolate drop if you are particular in uh farming the you know raspberry as well as solid almond then you want to go to 829 which is going to have a chance to drop both of them at the same time so i say if you want to farm these two then just go to 829 and you know just speed run it through with the uh, time jumpers or something like that all right but you do want to be farming some topping pieces as well as just toppings in general and the last thing once again is going to be research so a lot of people have been neglecting the range cookie bonuses, especially for the stats, because of the fact that range cookies are not a, you know, a priority right now inside of the arena, as well as some of the, um, you know, some of the other game modes. Um, even me, I've never really upgraded anything uh, regarding range, except for the attack right over here, and that was because of Twizzly Gummy Cookie, but... Right now, I am slowly just uh, upgrading my bonuses for range cookies. So if you guys are uh, in, you know, Kingdom Castle level 7, and if you guys were able to upgrade your Sugar Gnome Lavatory, then you do want to be upgrading uh, your stats so that you guys can use a Caramel Arrow Cookie when she becomes available, and especially if she is going to be part of the meta inside of the arena, which I believe she is going to be because Awful God, a cookie was not really a good cookie, in my opinion, for the arena. So that is just pretty much what I want to tell you guys uh, in general. Just, you know, just wanted to remind you guys this is uh, happening. Uh, you know, Caramel Arrow is coming out on the 25th, so, you know, we, we do only have about, like, five days left. So, less than a week uh, remaining until she is released and the new story is released. So, prepare yourself, be ready, so you guys don't miss out on the opportunity that is available for you when she is released. Anyways, guys, that's going to be it for this video. I hope you guys found it helpful. If you guys did, don't forget to hit that subscribe button as well as the like button. And also, don't forget to hit that notification bell so that you guys don't miss out on any future Click your link in the videos as well as live streams that I do on YouTube. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching once again, and I'll see you guys all next time.